everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to some more I Am Future, or welcome to it if you haven't got my previous coverage. It is a post-apocalyptic survival sandbox game set on, I guess, the rooftops of a ruined futuristic Earth? Uh, I am, as far as I can tell, I think we might actually be kind of the, like, tech CEO that caused a lot of this to happen, not all of it. And, uh, I guess we were supposed to jet set off to some, like, paradise world and instead we crash landed back on earth uh but we have very limited memories of like what happened there's these weird growths that are going all over the place i don't remember this being nearly so dense uh so they've been updating it uh they actually had a, a big update a couple of days ago as of me recording this and i guess i'm just gonna have to remember how to play let's see so i need a simple hammer yeah so okay this is my, what is this thing? This is my field kitchen. These are my gardens. Are they growing? Harvest, harvest crops, are they good? Can I upgrade them? Okay, so we need foam panels and microchips. Well, we got some of those. Can I harvest it? Yeah, it looks like I can get lettuce off of these things. So I'm just gonna have to kind of familiarize myself as I go along. Hey! Yeah, they've been boosting the quality of life. So that's fishing and other stuff. We don't know what that is. This is my farming. Uh, let's see, worms? and biomass lettuce seeds i guess i'll take the lettuce seeds back because i might as well do a little little bit of farming with it the bright flowers away my character is getting peckish that is something i'm gonna have to worry about okay let's plant some more lettuce oh there's so much i'm gonna have to figure out okay so what else do we have digital digital storage i don't know what that's useful for maybe for upgrading something i actually upgrade these i can but I'm going to need an oil can. Let's see what I can make here, because I can make some of these things. Because if I can make an oil can, oh boy, they really added a lot to this, which is both great and also problematic. So parts, a backpack module adds more space to my backpack. Can I make one? No, I'm gonna need another inventory cell from somewhere, supplies. Mollusk bait, electrolyte solution, paint blu blueprints. Yeah, so it looks like a number of these things are going to require resources that I just don't have access to. Unless the oil can. Ah, oil can just requires scrap metal and fish oil. So I'm actually going to have to go fishing. Needs, needs a drill. So I guess, do we dump some things off? I've got a lot of spray. Yeah, let's let's go fishing. We'll figure more things out because I know I can make like a salad and some other stuff. But if I need fish, oh, well, we got some blueberries and some other things. It feels like some of these resources have spawned back in where they weren't here previously, but that's fine. I am actually going to grab my lettuce off of this. Let's make a very quick nutritious salad because that does not require uh, fuel to make. And we'll probably make my life easier. Okay, so move that over, move that over. Wait, does this thing... Oh, it has storage in it. That's actually really nice. I like it when crafting benches do. Uh, let's see, move the blueberries over. So we do actually have some fish oil. So I guess all I do need here is to figure out where my scrap metal is, which is probably in this crafting bench. I'm making some progress. Ah, but I am going to need some fuel. So, fuel indicator. Does it say anything about fuel? Nope. Alright. So, I'm assuming we can get wood and other burnables from here. We might be able to burn biomass as well. We got a plant. I guess I can drill this thing. Oh. Okay, so that's a, like, don't destroy it. Alright. Yeah, what else can I do? I can extract liquid from these things. And drill whatever this is. But I'm gonna need a hammer. Yeah, so we can we can recycle almost like everything here into various resources. Which I kinda like. I like the idea of games where you are ah. This is probably Well, I mean there's a decent amount of wood, but I bet I can burn this. Add planks. Okay, so let's make a pair of oil cans, because I know we needed a, 
a handful of them. Upgrading this requires an oil can, which, like, I could. Oh, what is this? Oh, no, that's just sources of where I can get it from. What was the other thing I was going to try and make? So, I can't do reinforced cybernetic hand because I've got to get metal frames from somewhere. Steel saw needs a steel disc, so we've got to find Agatha's store, wherever that is. Let's see. Auto sort. Add all. Okay, so I can grab things from my inventory. How have I just, like, immediately forgotten what I needed from here? Upgrading this structure. Oil can, parts, coal. Oh. So Fuel Kitchen with Grill is actually, like, fairly doable. I said fairly. I don't know how doable it is, all things considered. Oh, it was this. This... No, it wasn't this. What the heck was I planning on upgrading? It was, like, one thing where I was just like, yeah, I, I could just do that. 20 coal, though. Because we have everything else. We've got the oil cans. Or we did? Ah, they're sitting in this inventory. Because, yeah, I might as well make a couple of those. Bake some mushrooms. Make as many oil cans as I can. And, yeah, then I'm going to need flowers and a bunch of other stuff. We'll just leave it there for the time being. I'll just have to keep finding some more, uh... Oops. Did I put my mushrooms away? I did put my mushrooms away. How do I pull up my... Expand my inventory. There we go. Yeah, because I might as well eat up. I don't know if this thing loses fuel over time. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Alright. Move these things over. Empty bottles. Cool oil, tin cans, some other things. We're going to need... A perfect workbench, which is going to require foam pads. Okay, so I'm probably just going to leave an amount of this stuff for later. Uh, and we're just going to wander around and see what I can do. Because, question mark? I don't actually remember what my tasks were. Build a minion. Start an expedition. Build a fridge. Or, build the bridge and segments. Okay, are you not a minion? Doesn't look like I can do anything with that. I can grab bits from whatever this drone thing is. Need a hammer. I can get some wire. A lot of plastic. Action menu so I can disassemble this. And one of the parts about this that I do remember enjoying is the fact that you dismantle uh, objects. You dismantle objects kind of piecemeal style. It immediately reminds me of, like, the Phoenix Wright games where you're, like, picking the evidence up and, like, moving it around and stuff. And that was slightly awkward. But it feels more fun to actually, like, pull the bits off and be like, yeah, this is this is a resource for me now. I like that. So, yeah, we just get a whole mess of resources. Get another one of these, like, robot cores. Sure. Let's see, some more seeds, plants. Oil, inventory is full. Yeah. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to worry about this. Yeah, what we really need to do is figure out how to get that tempered drill. So maybe I speed that process up a bit. Okay, tool upgrades. Non-reactive... Okay, tempered drill requires drill bits at... Oh, stand store. Okay, so maybe the trick is we've got to figure out this, this whole do an expedition thing. We might also want to craft some more, um... Okay, construction panels. Small storage, campfire workbench, garden bed. Minion. Okay, so it requires... Sheet metal, plexiglass, oil cans, and programmable cores. Um... Not super confident in my ability to get that stuff right now. Torches. Let's just do a couple garden beds if I can. Oh, right. And I have to water these. Uh, nano... Nano transporter. Did run out of fuel. So, I should not... I, I should cook everything I possibly can. I mean, luckily salads... Uh, don't require any... 
anything of the sort. Okay. Where's my... Oh, I have the bucket. Dear God. Sorry. My Discord was sharing that around recently, and it's lightly stuck in my head. Okay, it looks like I can hold two of these planks at the very least. I'll see if I can make another couple of garden beds. Food is kind of one of our main limiting factors. I think we're not in too dire of straits. But it's still something I'm going to have to worry about. Uh, let's see, riveting hammer. Destroy that. Biomass off of these things. Simple hammer, 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 wood, hammer. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm kind of not going to be able to progress, at least for a moment, until I can figure out this hammer thing. I guess let's let's go back and poke at stuff, because I think this drone up here is how I'm supposed to do expeditions. Maybe it's this thing. Upgrade module, start an expedition. Okay. Bye. Oh, I see. It just flies off. Then we determine where it, where it goes. I've been kind of hoping to play more of this. So we can go to Stan's store. Oh, but he actually will sell things to me. So we can get random scrap, random scrap. Something from a can... Okay. So it seems like most of this stuff is kind of basic. Let's go to Stan's store. Finally, a customer, and here I... Oh, it's another, like, weird TV man. And here I was thinking I wouldn't be turning a profit this week, or month, or year. Until my battery finally runs dry. By the way, I just dropped my prices. Free, thank you, with purchase, so go crazy. Who are you? I used to work in it as an accountant at Unicorp. Every day I dreamed of opening my own cozy little antique store. What a stroke of luck that every item is an antique these days. A plain old microwave for kettles is now worth its weight in gold. I could never have imagined my dream coming true like this. Where do you get your goods from? Oh, I have heaps of suppliers. Some things get bought in, brought in by the water, other things I find lying around. But my little feathered friends here bring me most the most valuable items. They love stealing shiny things, and I let them come inside to warm up. It's a fair trade. Trade. Okay, so I can't buy much, which is a little unfortunate, because I think I need something from him specifically. Uh, well, he's got the programmable core. He's got the pump mechanism. It's the... It's this. How the heck do we get money? Crypto farm. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just going to get some fertilizer and let that come back. And then we'll have to figure out uh, how do money. Okay. So. Okay. So it just went to my inventory. So it looks like I've got five things. Or five energy pips probably per day so we'll just grab what I can I'll have to upgrade this thing so abandoned shelter someone clearly left in a hurry there's abandoned belongings scattered all around weeds have spread it up everywhere and the tense tense tattered shreds sway in the wind there's nothing else useful here anymore it was all claimed by time today you found a kettle let's go down to this other one yeah, that's a locked region, so we can't go there. So do we go to the broken supply crate just to see what we get? Because I don't need the kettle that bad. And did that just go straight to my inventory? It did. The wooden top is broken, and the crate's contents are half rotten. A fat caterpillar is taking up residence inside. As the drone gets closer, the caterpillar scurries into a dark corner. Okay, so the rest is just random loot. That's how... Wait. Crashed airplane. Shreds of mud clinging to the fuselage and nothing but darkness behind the cockpit windows. The plane belonged to some celebrity and it will never fly again. I imagine... Can't imagine how many of these are at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, and I have to spend money or do things to get other stuff. Yeah, so we gotta get rid of this. It looks like they kind of left, at least. 
Oh, do you hear that rousing? Oh, ooh, do you hear that rousing new instrument joining the melody? That's a hero appearing to help the damsel in distress. How quaint and romantic. See those pesky fans who tore my security to bits? Just, just to get a little piece of me. Retro diva Maraquin. Darling, could you rid this damsel of their presence? Now that's what I call the true power of music. And it's all thanks to you, darling. You are marvelous, but don't make a lady wait. I'm trapped in the cockpit. Come free me, my knight. Uh. What is? Unicorp News. Article about Mar Maraquin. Passion in Cosmopolis is... Uh, Passion in Cosmopolis never cools. Infamous film and movie star Retro Diva... Diva. Diva. Amaraquin was spotted arm in arm with an incomparable redacted again. The incomparable redacted again. Rumors abound that Maraquin's ast astronomical rise in fame only happened because of a certain influential benefactor. Astronomical isn't quite the word for redacted's ratings, however, which we are saddened to say are falling. Maybe his new paramour's uh, penchant for alcohol is to blame, or perhaps their scandalous nature. They do say that madness and genius often go hand in hand after all. We do hope that our beloved Redacted will come to his senses and put an end to their fleeting affair, and hopefully to Maraquin's entire career. I'm assuming love interest for our character, because it just seems like our character is just, just garbage enough that they would just be scandal-ridden. Unfortunately, you can't get into the cockpit without the access code. My poor boys, my androids, knew the right digits. Try and find them if they're still alive. Okay, reach cockpit. I don't think I can do anything with this. What about this one? Okay, marked ticket. Where will this ticket take you? A sunny coastal resort, or a military aircraft carrier, or maybe a wild goose chase. Who knows? The ticket is stained with electro sight slime, so you can't see the destination. All right. I do see like eight four two one, but I doubt that's the. That, that's the password. What about this one? Mark ticket. Here it is. The lucky ticket. You can still see the remnants of a code or something written on the... Written, written in marker. It says 19. Unfortunately, the salt water washed away some of the numbers. Or you can find the other half of the comp uh, yeah, combination. Okay. Did the other one have a 19 on it as well? Or, sorry, the other half of it? No. about out here? Yep. Well, that's not helpful. Plane ticket with silver wings on it. It's probably useless now. It's ripped. So we wouldn't be able to take it to the boarding gate. And besides, all of the airports have been empty for a long time. Huh. What about over here? The quarter. Come in Echo Base, do you copy? This is Marquin Brando's plane. Please respond. We're planning to make an emergency landing in Cosmopolis. One of the engines is on fire. The turbulence or turbine might have sucked in a bird. I can't help it. They dive bombed the plane. Ground control, we're experiencing a fire on board. Please respond. We're losing al altitude. Okay, looks like we'll need to make an emergency water landing. This is the captain speaking. We're gonna have to descend. The pilots need help. The four digit code to the cockpit is 26. Oh no, we've lost power. The server's out. Birds. Those aren't birds. They're sticking to the fuselage. Less than a minute until splashdown. The outer marker is at zero. This is Marquin Brando's plane. Please. Everyone's screaming. Article about digital immortality. Unicorp is delighted to announce that they have concluded the final trials of technology to digitize consciousnesses. A concept that researchers have labored since the dawn of science is now officially possible. Digital immortality is available to the masses. Our Honorable Mayor Lucius, who also heads Unicorp, is certain that the, uh, that the Earth Federation will not lose a single moment from this point forward or onward, as memories can be stored forever onto a chip no bigger than a pack of gum. Don't worry if you need to have skills humanity needs, money works too. Oh, if you don't have the skills humanity needs, money works too. To reserve your spot in line for digital immortality, Follow the link and fill out the form. Become a part of history once and for all. I can just hear Shell, like, seething at what's going on in this game. But I, the whole thing is post-apocalyptic post 
because society fell apart. So, um, I think it's, I don't know. It's kind of one of those where it's like these topic or these things are all kind of like, hmm. Okay, so what was the code again? It was 2619. There we go. Two, six, one, nine. Ah, after so many years, the prince will finally save the princess. Rem I remember the day when the man I loved first put this song f on for me. I was truly incomparable, so strong and gallant. I fell so deeply in love that I almost fainted. It's like waking up somewhere beautiful after an endless nightmare. When we were forced apart, I wanted to become the jukebox he used. <laughs> so he would touch me again and bring me to life, like old times. But now you're here, my dear, and I think I've fallen in love again. Open your chat, darling, and I'll send you a kiss. Uh, I'd be glad to help Madame or Mademoiselle, but I barely know you. You don't know who I am. Perhaps you haven't seen me before. I haven't been in many movies lately, but I'm sure you've heard me sing. I'm retro diva Miss Marquin Brondo herself. You can call me Mary. It's not every day you get a superstar asking you for help. Please, darling, get me out of this awful swamp. My poor androids will never hear my lullabies again but I can sing a jazz ballad about your feet or set the mood with music. To leave you, in the, uh, leave you to this fate would be inhumane, to put it lightly. I've seen what electrocytes can do. I'll help you get home. How do we get them home? Are we just going to have Jukebox Wife just hanging out on a weird rooftop? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Yep. Days of the week. Current day of the week is shown in the character panel. Some crypto shops and expedition points are only available on certain days. Information about their opening hours can be found in the journal tab. Okay, so I guess we might as well talk to her. You do understand, darling, that a loading platform is simply not the place for a star of my caliber. Can you find me a stage or a cozy little spot closer to the bar so I can feel inspired? You can move characters around the roof. Is just everyone Earl? Okay. I guess I gotta find the bar? Is it this thing down here? I think so. I'll just put her there. Wait, no, now she's blocking the door. Shoot. Let's uh let's get rid of some of this stuff. Voila, how do you uh voila, how do you feel about your new spot? No woman is happy is as happy as a woman saved by a brave hero, darling. Oh, I know how to thank you. Money. Marquin doesn't need it. I prefer having men with money to having money myself. Take it. It's just scribbles to me, but they say this blueprint can help you build some kind of farm. I grew up on a farm, did you know that? Yes, Marquin used to feed chickens, but this blueprint isn't for that kind of farm. It's for mining money. Mining farm would be so useful. I know a few places where I can use you coins. Thanks, Mary. Oh God, crypto farm, really? We'll settle up someday. Who knows? Maybe you'll buy me a colorful ba backlight for my delicate chassis. Okay, how do we? It popped up that I could move characters around, but I've lost it. Minions, uh, construction, library, journal, relationships. Ah, this is how we move. Okay, let's move her there. Okay. I still need another hammer. Journal, move. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to move some of these things around. Okay, looks like my lettuce is still gonna take a little while to go. And eventually my character gets sleepy? I forget, actually. Oh no, wrong one. Journal. Move. There. I just want to have her next next to the door, but not in front of it. Okay. Ah, oh, this place brought me into a reverie. Promise not to laugh. For a second I felt like y you were a special man for my past, not yourself. Will you indulge this lady's frivolous request? Part your hair like an aristocrat, just for a minute. 
I want to be certain I'm mistaken. Can't say that styling my hair was on my to-do list today, but all right. I'll try to work this comb. We have a new hairdo for her. Uh, I'll have to figure out how to actually change that around, but that's fine. Uh, jeez. Let's see, how much of this can I carry? Uh, I think it's a sheet at a time, which is a little rough. Excuse me, get out of here. Uh, eight. Begone creature. Seven. I forgot there's weird bugs everywhere. And I can pull this up. Oh right, it does hurt me. I think I'm if if I'm fed, it's not a problem. I can get the random goodies. Too far away, don't wanna don't wanna mess with that yet. What does this require? Planks and nails. So actually building the bridge is not too outlandish for me either. Oh, is it right click? Okay, there's one. I thought these things mostly went for electricity, but I guess they go for my food just as well. Eh. I'm trying to snag the random gunk that they're leaving behind. Okay, well, I mean, now that I know I can probably build this bridge, we might as well get that process started. So, five wood, six nails. Doable. I guess more than anything else, I guess I should also look into making those uh, crypto farms. Okay, I'm going to put them over here next to this dude. Okay, so what does this require? It requires light bulbs, microchips, and sheet metal. It's so actually things that I have in decent quantity. Oh, it looks like I can actually hold two sheet metal at a time. Don't know why I didn't think I could. But yeah, is there a reason for my character to... Oh. Huh. Weather indicator changes every day. Cloudy weather. Nocturnal plants will grow during the day. Solar generators won't charge. Interesting. I was saying I could pick up two previously, but I guess I could only pick up one now? I don't know. The other thing I should do is probably get some more fresh water, because I think I'm, yeah, I'm fresh out. Yeah. Don't know why. I'm just gonna kind of fill out both of these. No, we should we should actually get the farms going, because I bet we just power it and we get money slowly. I think I have two more two more of those, because yeah, we're gonna need cash if I'm gonna want to upgrade any of my my basic tools further. There we go. It doesn't look like I have anything else. And yeah, we want the... Is it the drill? We want to be able to... No, it's the reinforced hammer. Okay, so I need light bulbs and ships. We've got some of these. Let's see. I'm also going to need just six nails. Oh. Uh, you know what? Build that for a second. Move things over. I'll move over the leech tails, though I'm not actually sure if... Hmm. 
the leech tails are what I'm, uh, if I can cook with those. Oop, unequip. Might as well also make two more garden beds. I don't think I want them to be next to each other. This game has, I don't want to say like slight interaction issues. Uh, but there's just, it's easy to accidentally select the wrong thing. Okay. So I need five more light bulbs and whatever that weird acid looking stuff is. Oh, electrolyte light solution. Two, three, five light bulbs. And that should be enough. Yeah, of the solution. This crypto farm will help me fill my wallet and buy something useful from the trader. Huh, no dice. Where did I mess up? Wait a second, that's it. The crypto farm needs a power supply to put together a simple biogenerator with nuts and bolts is, is tradition. I'm used to it. Do we know how to make a biogenerator? I supposedly... Suppose we do. Uh, let's see. I'll just put it here. I do not understand crypto at all. Please do not explain it to me. Like, you know, back when I was in college and, like, some of my friends were getting into it, I was like, yeah, I mean, that's kind of a haha -ha funny funny thing, but it's not that interesting. Uh, and they were, like, rigging up crypto farms and whatnot. I think they actually did make some money from it, but I never actually found, like, a practical use. It was just a thing. Okay, so let's see about this. Ugh. This looks grody. I don't remember the previous ones being this this gross. Oh, I have to actually pull these off. Yeah, Shell's asking what value does it bring to the world, and I think very much it's just Beanie Babies. Uh, let's see, what can I pull on these? <laughs> Beanie Babies can be played with, but they're cute. The thing is, like, I had a, I think she was a great aunt or something. It was a family member we went to go visit uh, years ago. I don't even know what state it was in. Um, but it was for like an extended family reunion. I'd never met these people before. I never saw them again. But I was going through... Uh, oh, I can just pull the back panel off. I was going through the house that we were kind of like visiting or staying at or whatever. Um, ah, there we go. No sheet metal, though. A lot of goodies, but no sheet metal. I'll just put the bucket on the ground. Oh, there's there's some sheet metal right there, in fact. Hiding in the grass. Uh, but the great aunt's four times removed, or, you know, whatever she was, had this big case of her rarest Beanie Babies. And I remember just being baffled. It didn't make any sense to me that she had so many of these things and they all had their tags they were pristine uh locked away behind glass and i was like can i play with some of them because i don't know why not right and uh no that was that was unacceptable <laughs> and she was quite mad and did not speak to me ever again and that was weird i'm like i get it now they were worth a ton of money so like go figure she wouldn't want to let some random distant relative play around with it. Oh, we can also get some blueprints here with the ink. So mechanical press, metal storage, plank storage, sprinkler. I like the idea of the sprinkler, actually. And a water barrel. And then also we might want to just make a bunch of lures. Because I should go fishing. We're out of fish oil soon. Characters getting hungry. Get some more lettuce. Looks like we're getting extra lettuce seeds. Or maybe not. It looks like it's just rate of replacement, but that's fine. Yep. Don't put that away. Okay. So four more biomass, three more sheet metal. So I might just have to go strip some things bare. Ew. 
There's plenty of opportunities for sheet metal. I just got to go looking. I do really much. I do very much look forward to being able to clear this out. Uh, that I actually have kind of like a nice base. I, I'm a huge sucker for the, this exact genre. Games where you're specifically kind of in a, a a trashy junk location, and you have to slowly like harvest your way through everything. Oh right, I should go finish the bridge. Uh, harvest and recycle, and uh, get resources and whatnot from the junk instead of just your usual like punch rock or whatever. It just is a so much more of a compelling survival sandbox to me, at the very least. None of this is metal scrap, though. We might also want to go out on an expedition before it gets too late. And yeah, who knows, I might be able to get some metal planks from some of these. I guess baseline, favorite thing I could do here, or best thing I could do here is actually just recycle everything. That's all plastic. Uh, let's see. Dismantle that. Yeah, inventory is full. You know what? Let's go put things away, then we go on an expedition. I'm not actually seeing anything that screams metal here. Oh, those are. Oh, all of those are. Should have brought a blank plank with me. Think about a okay. Harvest this. That just random scrap. And considering a lot of my projects just need sheet metal. Uh, yoink. All right, should be biomass plenty. I might come through and cut that up, too. It's my pleasure to introduce you to the one, the only, and newest hope of the DIY club. Now let's fuel up and head straight for the airwaves. Generator feeds on organic matter, so biomass will make the perfect fuel. I just have to use a cable to introduce the generator to the crypto farm. And that'll be that. Alright, can generate electricity, just make sure it has enough fuel, connect or disconnect. In the open panel, select a socket. Okay, start wiring. Oh, we need electrical cable. I guess I shouldn't be carrying my fishing rod around with me. There we go. Okay, generator panel. Alright, as long as there's energy in the biogenerator, the crypto form will be operational. Uh, let's see, look for blueprints. Complete those. Uh, let's see. Do we just have, like, a whole bunch of biofuel that I can sort away? Okay, pin. Break connection. It's on. So if I upgrade this, batteries, transformers, matrices. I think that's actually doable. Oh, can I come back and pin it? There we go. Okay, so we... We have six transformers. And I can do two more. Matrices. I need... Oh, I guess I have too many. And battery. Oh, battery needs resource printer and... Okay, so... We can't do this. Beans. Well, it's fine. Hey, we don't care too deeply about paint. Uh, let's see. Decorative fence. No electrical poles. Storage would be nice. I guess I'm going to grab the mechanical press. Blueprint, just for the sake of it. Okay. Solvent. 
So I guess let's go grab the bucket. She also has something to say? Oh. You said I look like someone. Change your hairstyle. Oh, right. Just come back. Alright. Grab those. Here's the question. I see a water pump looking thing here. Huh. Ah, there's a blueprint down there. Yes, yeah, so let's let's go fill this up. Cause we're gonna need water and I might as well catch five fish while I'm down here. Action menu bucket. Action menu oh can't. Can't equip item. We start repairs. Oh, that that requires plastic. Okay, so here's where we fish. Possible catch. Spoon lure. Start fishing. Well, it's a very friendly fishing game. Small bug eyed. I appreciate that it's not really reflex focused. It isn't entirely just like. Well, I mean, I guess it is, but it's like a very friendly re uh, reflex. I never really liked the, you know, wait until it's bobbing and then you, you know, hit the pull button. Like that, I don't know, wasn't very exciting for me. Also, having to worry about, like, the line snapping. I get it. It's kind of realistic. But it gets to me. Earthworm. That's a different thing. Large bug-eyed. All right. Then I could fish without bait and get some more trash. But no thank you. Is there anything else down here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so big one is... Grab this. I wonder if I can burn biomass, though. Not a clue. Okay, so let's make a bucket of fresh water. Let's see, how do we... How do I fish? Uh, plenty of blueberries. I know there's something I can do. That's doable. Oh, here it is. Flying fish. The fact that the fish just contain plastic is a little unnerving. But also, it's very realistic. I don't... There's nothing I can cook with it, though. Okay. Bucket of water. We might want to go refill. Well, this still has some fuel in it. Because I might as well see if I can restock on water. Or have a whole fresh bucket sitting around. Uh, there we go. Yeah, very appreciative that this character does not seem to need to sleep. I question his humanity for multiple reasons. Okay, we've got nine left, which means bucket of fresh water. There we go. Now I'll just keep collecting coal and some other things. And mushrooms. Okay. Right. We need one plank if I want to continue that bridge. 
And I might as well do that. Oh, right. I was going to look at, um... I was going to do an expedition, and whoopsie. Oh, boy. Okay, some of that stuff I just don't have access to. Might be too late for an expedition, unfortunately. I'm sure they're coming out of that thing. To deal with that in a second. Okay. Oh, cannot start expeditions at night. Oops. Let's just clean up this area, see what I can get out of it. Let's see, simple hammer required. Yeah, I wonder if I can actually get water out of... Oh, you know what? I bet those become consistent water sources later. Like connect, it connects to the piping network. Okay, and that's, that's starting to get slightly out of hand. Add all. Nothing that one. Maybe we just want to sort everything away. That's better. Do that. And maybe, maybe we sleep? Where was the, where was the couch that my character sleeps? Oh, he's here. Go to sleep. Because one of these causes me to get my HP back. Ah, there we go. Sleeping does. That's the requirement. Okay. Solar, solar generators will charge. Doesn't look like there's anything else. I'm gonna just get rid of this. Until we get some more batteries, we can't do anything with it. Oh, I just got a random lettuce here. Sick. Okay. So, probably the best thing I could do now. Let's put that there. Uh, oh, let's collect our money. I think is the big one. Question, can I make a salad? I cannot. How much are we sitting on? Decent amount. Not enough, though. I need... I want to say 150. Let's see, Bush is fine. I guess let's go change our hairstyle. Because that's an easy quest to complete. I guess the other one is I could just make another money farm. Aristocrat hairstyle. More like tech nerd. I was not mistaken. Hello, Lucius. Remember how I said we'd meet again? No, you don't remember. Your face is the same, but you look... The look in your eyes is different. Hold on a second. What did you say my name was? There must be some mistake. I don't remember anything. A long, long time ago, you were known as n none other than the head of Unicorp, Mr. Lucius. You're my main squeeze once. Oh, and you called me Mary back then. Oh, the way you looked at me. The man who ruled the world looked at me like I was a goddess. Back then, I loved you more than life itself. Tell me, darling, do you still love me? No. Life is a cruel mistress, no? I'm still used to her merciless touch by now. Just seeing you again, my dear Lucius, is the best gift you've ever given me. Still think you're pulling my leg. Me, the most powerful man in all of Cosmopolis? So why am I stuck here? Who knows? Maybe the universe has special plans for you, darling. Okay. Sweating like crazy, carrying all the water to the roof. Darling, it pains me to watch you hunch over carrying those heavy buckets. Why trouble yourself? Even I know you can automate watering. Farm, farm life leaves its mark, you know. So here's my advice. Drag the pump to the roof, and it'll do all the work for you. Look, you can build the pump on tiles with a droplet on them. I know calloused hands look as good a, on a man as scars, but letting or putting together a working pump will be quite the challenge. You'll need a pump mechanism. And just find valuable things like that lying around on the road. You know. Oh, no, no. 
Someone must have picked it up already and probably fetched a heavy, hefty price. Do you know the local trader? You should check his stock. Hand pump. Okay, right. We're gonna just grab the random goop bits. I was kind of hoping I could sell some of this stuff. But, yeah. Start an expedition. It's got to be the first thing that I do every morning. Holy shit, I've already been playing for an hour. This game eats time. I feel like I haven't progressed at all. Okay, so what do we have? So I can get scrap, flotsam, crash airplane, there's nothing left. Yeah, loot plastic. I could go to stand the hoarder, but I don't think there's any benefit for it. A trash beach. Another trash beach. Oh, right, and I should grab the, uh, the water thing off of it. Alright, let me just go home. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna have to scale up my money situation pretty hard. Way too long to blow the weeds. They'll turn into dangerous flowers. I still haven't figured out how to deal with the big flowers yet. Okay. There it is. I'm just going to pick this up and bring it with me. Just, just dump it down there. Yeah, why is it that I can pick uh, pick up two of these sometime? Oh, there was an upgrade. If your character is well fed, you can carry two. I guess I should work on that then. We don't have any mushrooms. Can't do bright soup. Though maybe I should start. I should start working on some of these things. Okay, could do blueberry seeds. I guess we do actually have blueberries. Okay, there. Now I can carry two. For like, a moment. Alright, pick them all up. Let's go back down. Looks like there's a lot of things for me to inter interact with. We just need more money. Okay. Probably just do more bright flowers. Uh, my seeds are here. Yeah, three bright flower seeds to two lettuce. That seems reasonable. Okay, go back to this, move it over, fish oil. Yeah, for the oil can. I could do fresh water bottles. I could do a couple of these things. Move that over. Uh, let's see. Right, move that. So now we need lettuce if I want to make a salad, but that's okay. Now what? Money. I guess my main thing is, can I make another one of these? Mechanical press. What is what does the mechanical press do? Large construction materials like planks or metal out of recycled resources from the nearby junkyard. I don't I don't know if we have a junkyard that would be valid for that. Oh, can I? Not? Oh, wait, no, there it is. I'm just going to put another one of these down. Alas, I've lost my food buff because my character is a hangy boy. Okay. I guess construction panel. Light that one up. 
Oh, well, I've got the three electrolyte solution. The electrical cable. Actually kind of pricey. I'm gonna need more plastic. I guess it's fine. Because I'm not expecting to get that done quickly. Okay, so one more scrap metal. Four more light bulbs. I guess we just gotta find things that could possibly give me plastic in this entire mess. I'll just grab whatever's available. This seems to be mostly planks. But these, no, definitely not that. I don't think most of this is plastic based. Oh. Okay, yeah, don't get any closer. The brambles went away too. Okay, and I'm getting some more lettuce seeds, which is appreciated. Anything else here? Oh, I can also grow grow mushrooms. Useful. No. Would have large quantities of plastic. And honestly, I thought we got a fair bit earlier. But I guess I'm gonna need so much more. There we go. The only immediate problem I, I do still have with this system is I wish, oh, got a clam. There's a clam in there for reasons. Uh, I do wish my character got better at opening these, if that make, made sense or makes sense. Like if it was one of those that uh, like pulling the screws out got a little bit faster. Because as fun as it is to disassemble these various objects, it does take a little bit of time. Okay, still can't do anything with that one. Can't open that door. Ah, pull the fan. Now we're good. Okay, anything else here? random chips, a screw. But I think, I think it varies. I don't remember pulling all these parts out of the last one, so I guess maybe they just made it so that these are a bit more variable now. But we did actually get a number of the things that we need. My salad. I wonder if my character drops below 75% if he immediately drops the planks on the ground. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Or maybe it's 70%. You can't get that. Now it looks like we can only carry, yeah, planks or... Uh, planks or metal bits. You can't do a plank and a metal metal scrap. Yeah, let's clean up. Get access to various things, especially because there's just random lettuce on the ground. Oh, I wonder what the cutoff for the like you are strong and can carry two things is. Maybe it's the two-third mark. Let's see if it drops below 65. If that's what happens. Okay. This away. Can't get rid of those. I need a non-reactive injector. If I want to build a... Let's see if I want to build one of those. 
And I don't know what that requires. Let's check. It's probably a tool upgrade. Non-reactive injector. I need chemical resistant flask from Ecomate. That's a big question mark. Okay, so a couple more light bulbs. Actually, that might be doable. Oh, no, still need plastic for it. Yeah, so it seems to be the two-thirds mark is when your character is strong enough to carry extra. Works for me. I guess let's go... Keep grabbing every little bit that I can from up here. Because my goal is to kind of just have most of my basic, well, base cleaned up as much as I possibly can. So that I can actually put things in it, but then also just not have to worry about like, yeah, is, is there anything here for me to snag or loot? I can remember Stan the Hoarder having a nice drill bit for sale. If I had new bits, I could upgrade my drill and disassemble this pod. Oh, uh, yeah. That's... That's gonna be the point where I, this game opens up. At least to some degree. We can still make that bridge as well. Pull the blueberries. We got everything we could out of those. Oh, uh, you know what? Can I move the wires over? Yeah. And the electrolyte. How about the clam? Let's put that there. I'll put the clam there. With the, with the empty water bottles? Should actually maybe make just another bucket. Too far away. What? I'm on top of it. How could? Now I could also waste some time just fishing for random plastic scrap. It's not bad, but I'm going to say that's kind of mark of desperation. I should probably work on everything else that I possibly can work on. We might also want to make the metal, uh, like the metal holder. I can make another nutritious salad. Yeah, I might as well just keep eating them. Alright, so what do you... What does this require? Main thing is it does require metal frames, which we... I'm betting we're actually going to get a bunch of them. It's fairly soon. There we go. I'll water that in a second. I'm assuming as, as soon as we get that drill... More lettuce. I'm so glad that randomly lettuce and blueberries will just grow up here. This would be much harder without them. Yeah, do we do we want to make just the most basic resource holders? Support. Campfire. Or, oh, I haven't actually learned this. Hmm. Okay, might have to think about how I want to handle that one. The main question is, what can I cook? I guess I could do a mushroom soup. And we still need the coal. We also do a bright soup. The bucket of fresh water. Oil cans, nothing. So yeah, let's just do three coal. Because, yeah, we want to keep up getting to the point where we can upgrade this sucker. Which mostly is just going to require me to have a ton of coal. It 
you know what? We get plenty, so let's let's go back to this. I'm gonna make a pair of bright soups. And you know the other thing I could do? I'm gonna have to clear those out. Make another set of bright uh, mushroom soup as well. There. Kill those. Okay, bunch of junk. The main thing is, I'm gonna have to come in here and pull up these weeds. Wait, there's. Oh, dare? Because I don't have to pull them up by hand. Well, that's nice. They destroyed my plants, though. That's why I have all the extra seeds. In case that happens again. Ouch. I mean, I guess it could be silly. Get the blueprints and make a fence. I think I just need to be more careful. Okay, anything else I can do at the moment? Mostly just store things away. Yeah, cause stop weed spray. We'll make one more. Yeah, we don't need more pipes, nails. Do I want to get the plank storage and metal storage blueprints? Yeah. I got a fair number of these notes. Ah, but not enough ink. Unless I put, put them somewhere else. Might have. So yeah, if I wanted to make storage. Support, plank storage, metal storage. Yeah, do I just put it there? Sure. Okay, so two metal pipes, one sheet metal. And then a bunch of light bulbs. So none of this is sheet metal. It might actually be one of the few things I'm kind of running low on. Oh. Oh, this is Ecomate. Oh. So, if I save up five nutritious salads, we can get a simple hammer. If I get five large bug eyes, we can get... <sighs> okay, might as well do that. Anything else for my trouble? No. I can get a backpack module if I get five large bug eyes. All right, do we keep going? Just for a little bit longer. Cause yeah, I want, I want to get the backpack module and I'd like to be able to buy the drill bit. So we can at least look at expanding our horizons. If only a moment. Yeah, the fact that it requires salads is rough. Because, uh, I need those to live. I guess the other thing we could do is actually go out of our way to, um, get the requisite charcoal. Because, yeah, if I could actually get the, uh, upgraded grill, we might actually be able to make, or... We might actually be able to cook fish. Currently, I just have just fish sitting in the fridge. 
but we are incapable of cooking it. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't even think the bug eyes are probably particularly nutritious. But it's okay. Alright. Yeah, I could fish without... Just get a bunch of plastic scrap from it. I think it's a decent amount, but we're better off going off and doing a, um... Grabbing our money, doing an expedition, and buying the drill bits that we need. Just gonna unpin those for the time being. They're not that helpful. There we go. That's gotta be plenty of money now. Or not. I'll has also have to figure out how to get the circular saw, but that can be later. Start an expedition. What is that seagull doing? Oh god. That is an eldritch bird and is gone. Oh. They don't refresh on Sundays. That is unfortunate for me. Okay, so let's trade. Oh, that's Oscar's furniture. Oh, that's coupons. Well, screw it. Unlock a new region, see what we got. Yeah, there's some good loot. But I can't do much with it. So I guess let's just go summer stage. Because I do need one of those. Right, let's just go home. Well, I guess all things considered, maybe we do have to go fish for trash. Okay. That unfortunately also means that I'm not going to be able to have the drill in a reasonable amount of time. So let's let's just end off here. We've got a decent amount of stuff going, and we're making some serious progress as we do. Main issue is, yeah, I'm, I'm salad locked. First game I've ever been pro progression locked by the need for a salad. But hey, is what it is. Uh, I don't know how I didn't notice this thing previously. All right, that gives us a backpack upgrade. And yeah, nutritious salads. Oh boy. Oh wait, is there a difference between the salads I've been eating? Nope, it's the same. Oops. Let's just fill up, where's the backpack up module? There we go. There we go. Oh, that's not as much space as I was hoping it would be. But is is fine. Anyway, so I might as well mention that I am I am Future is available on Steam right now, so if you do want to pick it up and play it yourselves, just follow the link in the description below. Right. The fish have plastic in them. I have a ton of plastic, actually. Why did I leave it here? Probably for the water bottles? No. I don't know. Uh well that opens up a bunch. Because that means, yeah, we could actually upgrade this thing if we want to. Oh yeah, we definitely have the, the bits for it. I feel foolish. Grab that, because I need nine. Because yeah, upgrade structure, we have everything but the coal. Okay. Do we want to do one more? I think, yeah, one more gets us 85. Should probably have had a bucket of water. Ready for this, in retrospect, but whatever. Anywho, I think with all this said, I guess I might as well say... Uh, that if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, I guess new and old, uh, I don't... 
I, I guess I'm kind of on a, a tour of like, hey, you know all those older games that I actually really like? Uh, let's go back and check them out again and see how far they've improved. And uh, let me tell you, they've gotten better. Uh, this one, I mean, admittedly, this is kind of just the same old, same old. But it feels good uh, and improves constantly. So I don't know. I enjoy it. I, I love survival sandbox games where you're in a very limited environment. It feels very good to me having those restrictions. And then also just, I don't know. Uh, it's just kind of a nice, pleasant look and feel compared to a lot of other si sandbox survival games. And the really, like, constrained environments feel good, too. Oh, we got five lettuce out of that. Shoot. I guess I might as well get some oil cans while I'm here. Let's see. Anything else for me to do? Drinking water bottle. I don't actually know if that's good for me. Well, it's fine. Uh, so, for now at least, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.